we are not just spending it we are investing it we are creating a future by that investment recently i was saying to our people i said every prayer you pray today is stored up in heaven for your needs tomorrow he said there are angels in heaven that hold vias before the throne which are the prayers of the saints so the fragrance of your prayers today will still speak for you tomorrow so you need time and there is no point trying to confuse yourself oh you know business and spiritual life they are two separate entities you are just one person a spiritual man in business and so you need to be connected to your spiritual root in order to keep on bearing your fruits so you need help from heaven the insight of job was his strength in the day of trouble most of the regrettable investments you made they were not divinely guided every divinely guided investment will yield maximum results and when the lord is your shepherd you shall not want goodness and mercy will be following you all the days of your life to be spiritually minded is life and peace and to be carnally minded is death one of the greatest american businessmen by name jc penny jc penny was taught by his mother to have a quality work with god and just like the story of argilo toroni at a point he felt look maybe we try the other side and everything came crashing down until he came back on his feet with god and then god is taught his glory back in business god does not need you for anything you need him for everything the second cost in this contest is what i've called the intellectual cost knowledge is power as i've often said to be informed is to be transformed and to be uninformed is to be deformed the more enlightened we are on any subject matter the greater the level of command we gain my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge isaiah chapter 5 and verse 13 we need a working knowledge of any venture we are embarking on it is information that gives value to every vision at tomorrow it was a ram lincoln that said you are the same person you are today in five years time except for two things the books you read and the companies you keep the books you read and the companies you keep i don't play with it our lack of adequate intellectual property is the reason for our poverty my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge he said give yourself to the things you find that you're profiting may appear to all that your profiting may appear to all after those readings that i had to go through in the process of building covenant university i came with the conclusion that covenant university shall be a new generation harvard i looked at it and was convinced in my heart that's the way we are going and they were not just forgetting traditional knowledge we are committed to creating knowledge that solves real life problems we are not out to graduate people that will be seeking for job we are graduating job creators thing was said ignorance is costly don't toy with it there is no mountain anywhere every man's ignorance is his mountain the number three cost here in our context what i've called physical cost physical cost high elasticity is a requirement for high performance it takes hard work to fly high hard workers are high flyers every success story is traceable to high level investment of time energy and resources say with me energy <laughs> investment of time energy and resources energy you need energy to maximize destiny you need energy to maximize destiny 
every success story is traceable to high level investment of time energy and resources even christ said i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day for the night comet where no man can walk john 9 4 high level energy is an all-time requirement for high level performance high level accomplishment so everybody you see and say you know i i'm just tired i don't know i just feel like going to rest every time he wants to rest five days a week is resting a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hand to sleep he says so shall die poverty every you see poverty they have just put failure failure coming to that individual jesus said how am i stretched until it be accomplished every star is stretched to shine until you are stretched enough you cannot spread effectively in all labor there is profit but the talk of the lips tends only to penury labor is one of your vital keys into a great future god is not mocked whatsoever a man sows that also shall he reap the slugger shall not sow by reason of the cold therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing so everyone that is not working we end up begging wealth gotten by vanity shall diminish but he that gathers by labor shall increase proverbs 13 verse 23 wealth gotten by bribery and corruption shall vanish for he that gathers by labor shall increase great treasures have been unleashed and to take you selling off your comfort selling off your conveniences selling off your traditions of i know it will work whether it work or not I know God will do it, whether I do what God has commanded me to do or not. These are all religious traps that makes destiny to lose color. Solomon said, prepare your work in the field, make it free for thyself, and afterward, build your house. The glory and the color of your destiny is in how much investment you are making. To the work of your hand today things only work for workers there is no shortcut so you have a three-dimensional investment spiritual intellectual and physical most people think all we invest to make it great in business is money so they are looking for money to invest that's there but without these three that one holds no value it is these three fundamental costs that give value to your financial resource investment i'm not afraid of tomorrow because we are not where we are today by chance if you are not building on principles you are heading for troubles these are the principles of life that will help you to press your battle to the next level. You are either building on principles or you are heaping up rubbles. The choice is yours. Let's stop just talking it. Let's start working it. What you don't work won't work. What you don't market won't sell. What you don't trade will be trashed. If you want to see true increases, then begin to invest along these three main channels, and there shall be no end to the increases of God in your life 
It is time to prepare your work in the field in the words of Solomon and make it fit for yourself. And afterward, build your house.